Hey everyone, um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go over a few vehicle um, materials and things like that, and it's going to be really cool. Um, last time we imported a vehicle by using cams DFFIO, um, and I imported Hustler. Hustler, where is it? Here, yeah, Hustler. And, um, it was really small, so we zoomed in. Alright. Um, just because it's not really working properly, I'm going to highlight all that and go isolate selection. And that'll get the camera wrapping around it pretty well. What we're going to do now is we're going to play around with uh, materials, as I already said. So, as I always like to do, I'm going to hide the low definition model. And now we've got all the other models. And it looks pretty cool. You can see everything here. We got damaged parts, all that on the same thing. So let me move this. You'll you'll have this little thing here that comes up when you isolate things, just to let you know. Anyway, um, I'm gonna isolate the chassis or chassis and uh, modify that. Um, we're gonna open up the material editor, editor, editor. Let me shrink it so you can see it better. Um, we're gonna go make a new material. We're gonna change this from standard to a GTA material. Double click that. And we're gonna. Ooh, where are we gonna go? To here, which is color guide. We're gonna go primary. Um, and we're gonna click SA vehicle default. Alright then. So, actually, no, we'll go secondary. We'll make a secondary color on the car. Um, um, Alright then. So, we got the secondary material. Let's open the car as a mesh. Go into here. Let me move this out of the way. Kind of getting cluttered. Uh, and we'll press F4 to show the wireframe model. And um, what we'll do is we'll select polygon. So now we can like select polygons at a time. And I'm going to select all these polygons around here and make sort of a weird looking thing. I don't know. It's just like a diamond or whatever. And I'm going to just drag this new material on top. And that will be the secondary color for the vehicle. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm going to deselect that and go here. So. Now we got to reconfigure carcalls.dat. So that's in your GTA installation. GTA installation, I forget where. Okay, hold on. Because I didn't have this all organized. Sorry, guys. GTA San Andreas. Right here. Data. And carcalls.dat. And always remember to back up. Control C, Control V. It's only two keys. You're done. Double click on that. And we've opened this up. Sorry, I didn't organize this at all, did I? Anyway, let's go down to, we're going to go edit, find, and we'll go look for, um, what is it again? Uh, Hustler. We'll just do a search for Hustler. Now we got all these different colors that Hustler uses. Let's change that. Um, now, it's... I don't have a color chart up, but I might put a link in the description to a chart color chart. But I like to keep it at two colors while you're just making a simple vehicle. So we had to delete those because it was only for primary colors. And now we've got primary and secondary. So we got 50 and 1. Sorry for the bad explanation. As I said, I didn't explain it very well. Okay, save it. I'm not going to save this one because I don't want it. Um, but yeah. Definitely make sure you save it, and now you're ready for export. We're going to go right here with this box. We're going to go edit, uh, exit isolation mode, and just to be sure, we're going to go unhide all. Right-click and unhide all. All right, let's select all that. We'll go to the utilities panel, DFFIO. We're going to export like we did in the last video. Select a similar car or the same car, but it has to be a copy of the same car. So we can't have reading and writing at the same time. Let's go export DFF. 
Hustler. I'll replace this one I did earlier. Oops, hold on. Hustler. And save and replace and you're done. Alright then, well thanks for watching. Uh, I enjoyed teaching you and I hope you got some information out of that. Um, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. So, see you later. Have a good day. Oh, and happy modding.